As we continue our drive through Tassie's northwest, we leave Cradle Mountain Lake Sinclair National Park and head one and a half hours up the road to Launceston. Our drive takes us through the town of Sheffield. I've heard a lot about Sheffield. First mural. Oh, well spotted. Oh, the marble, world of marbles. Murals not only bring the streetscape alive, but have turned this town into a tourist attraction. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. It's like an art gallery. The Tamar Valley is home to some of the best wineries in the state, and we are in for a real treat. This jazz market is a regular occurrence at Joseph Cromie Vineyard. How seriously stunning is this? It's beautiful, isn't it? Everybody's out. All these stalls everywhere. Yeah. Local produce. Joe! Yeah. Joseph Cromie, nice yeah. to meet you. Joe has been instrumental in the development of the wine industry in Tasmania. A story of sheer determination, Joe fled his war-torn Czechoslovakia in 1950 as a penniless 19-year-old after 11 years of Nazi and Soviet occupation. And in 2003, he started developing the Joseph Cromie Winery. As if our time in Tassie couldn't get any better. Whoa. How's this? Well, it's not every day that someone comes to the restaurant and gets their wine served by the oh, winemaker. Oh, I tell you what! <laughs> Inside the award-winning restaurant, we're joined by Joseph and Jeremy and his wife and children for a leisurely afternoon, feasting on some of Tasmania's finest local produce, finest wine, and toasting our incredible road trip around Tassie's northwest. How about this? That good. You've yeah. got the good life. 